Nene Leaks, it's time to have a seat. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Beasley here. Hope you all are staying warm out there. Jesus Christ, it is freezing out here in Houston, y'all. But today I wanna to talk to you guys about Nene Leaks, who has recently found herself between a rock and a hard place. But in my opinion, this stagnant state that she found herself in is mainly due to her karma. Now, if you watched the last two seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you can clearly see that Nene lost her position at The Real Housewives due to her piss poor attitude. If you look back at season 11, her attitude was stank the entire season. Like she was legit, like not even a joy to watch. And it was like, girl, like why are you even, you know, you can clearly tell that she was there for the check, but it's just like, girl, if you're not even gonna be fun to be around, like this is an easy job for one. Like the Housewives of Atlanta is an easy job. Yes, you have to bring a storyline and yes, you have to be entertaining, but at the same time, you're really literally getting paid millions of dollars to just party and parlay with a bunch of other women. Like who else is gonna pay you that much in life just to, uh, have fun basically. But Nene Leakes' attitude was so, so bad in season 11. You know, she was dealing with her issues with Greg, but that's not even an excuse. She was treating the girls like just pure trash. And then even when the season 11 reunion happened, she had attitude with all of the girls. She even had Andy looking at her sideways. Like she had no response. She was nonchalant. She just was stank. Like she had no remorse for anything that she said or did throughout the whole entire season. Nene simply was just not fun anymore and you can clearly see that like the old Nene was completely gone. Now I said this way back in season three or four when she was really starting to feel herself that Nene had not been the same. To be honest with you back then Nene really was not fun to watch at all either. Like she was really feeling herself a little too much. Like yes The Real Housewives of Atlanta was one of the first biggest shows to come out of Atlanta and also was one of the first reality shows to be like a bona fide hit for Bravo. But Nene was like feeling herself way too much. And even if you go back into the past, she has tried to get numerous girls fired off of the show. She's gotten Sheree fired off the show. She got Claudia Jordan fired off the show. She's tried to get Cynthia pulled from the show multiple times. And she even tried to get rid of Portia. So you have this bad attitude. You have these women that are on the outs with you because you've treated them like dirt in the past. And then on top of that, Nene, for the last three seasons, ever since she really came back in season 10, she never really had much of a storyline. Like, yeah, granted, season 10, like her storyline was kind of, um, from what I remember, it was Kim Zosiak. And really it was all the girls grouped together. That's cool. But there was a whole lot of storylines and a whole lot of things about her family that she left out that could have been a focal point. Like for one, she was going back and forth with Bryson's baby mama. Like we would have loved to see that on television. That would have been a great engaging storyline. Also with the fact that she was on the outs with her sisters. Phaedra tried to get her sisters on the show to kind of air Nene out. And I can understand why she wouldn't want to bring her sisters on, but at the same time, that is a plot point in your life that needs to be explored. And then they even tried back when um, she had her little spinoff wedding show that she was on the outs with Greg's children. We wanted to see more of that and you trying to repair your relationship with them. Like there's all these opportunities with Nene and her family, but she doesn't ever want to bring them on because she's either A, embarrassed by them, on the outs with them, or she simply just doesn't want to deal with them because they don't fit her rich, bitch, fabulous lifestyle. And now if you were to come back in season 13, you would have had nobody to film with but Marlo and they would have been in the middle of a pandemic. And since you weren't on season 13, you get fired. And now instead of bowing out gracefully like you should, you go ahead and you call out Bravo and Andy and you call Andy being racist. Now, is, do I believe Andy is racist? I don't. I think he's ignorant. But you call him a racist, even though Andy was your good Judy for years. When did the racism come in, Nene? Oh yeah, it came in when the check stopped coming through. You got fired off the show, and you're fighting against Bravo because you did not prepare yourself for, you know, the end of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like, like Nene, you did not have a solid plan B that would have took effect had you would have not been brought back to The Housewives. So now you're kind of struggling and you're showing that you're struggling because you look a little desperate. That show that she had with the gays, like 
Girl, that was bad. Like, that was absolutely terrible. I'm not gonna go in on her because as many of other YouTubers have gone in on her for that. And then she's trying to open up a restaurant in the middle of pandemic. I mean, yeah, Candy's doing that too, but the difference between you and Candy is Candy already had that solidified. Candy already had a chain of restaurants. Personally, I, I feel like instead of her being in competition with Candy, she should have been friends with Candy this whole time because Candy could have taught her a lot of things, like how to flip her situation. And Nina, you are out here looking really desperate with these lawsuits. Now, a lot of people may ride for her because this situation is kind of similar to the comedian Monique's. But the difference between you and Monique Nini is that Monique set out years of being blackballed and she finally decided to uplift her voice and raise it. You girl, you were only, you were partying with this dude this whole entire time and now you claim to be blackballed by him. You're blackballing yourself. You keep speaking out negatively with the network and overall NBC. At this point, nobody wants to work with you. She was supposed to have a show about her, I, I don't know what it was supposed to be about. It was supposed to be about fashion or something. First of all, Nene, the show wasn't going to work because that's not what you give. You don't give fashion. You don't give looks. You don't give... That's not you, girl. Like, if you were to have Marlo as a co-host, I can understand that. But at the same time, you don't want to see this crop of girls be on your level. You want to you wanted to suppress them and be the HBIC. And now look where that has gotten you off the show. Overall, Nene, what you need to do, you need to just lay low and really beef up your YouTube. Your YouTube, what you could have done, what I would really like to see Nene do is see her in a talk show space. She, if a lot of people don't know, but she was supposed to get her ta own talk show on Fox, but Wendy Williams completely blocked that. And that's another thing, like, girl, why were you sitting up there being friends with Wendy Williams? I mean, yeah, she had the celebrity connections, but she, when has Wendy Williams ever proved to be a good friend to anybody? Like, let's keep it real. But Nene should definitely beef up her YouTube and make it like a talk show on YouTube. Like, she already has celebrity friends that would love to come on. She could interview some of the housewives that she's friends with and basically almost take another page out of Candy's book. And girl, you really should have made Candy your ally. Like, I'm gonna use your own words against you. You were riding with the wrong team. You were riding against the wrong team. But overall, Nene, you just need to lay low. You talking out against this network that was paying you so good up until they fired you. You talking about Andy being racist even though he was quote unquote your good Judy up until he turned against you. You talking about all these girls are boring when the show was boring with you. Nene, just lay low, focus on your YouTube, beef that up. Once you stop being problematic and stop being combative and angry, everybody will be back on your dick again. And get back to being fun. Like, we like the fun Nene. We like the good time girl. We like the, the shady girl. We like you in all the memes. We still say woo child the ghetto. Like, Nene, you could be that girl, but you're standing in your own way because one door closed. You have the opportunity to open another door. Quit wallowing on this check. The check is gone. And you're, you're not getting it back at this point. You're not going to be back on the Housewives anytime soon. It's not going to happen. Do what you need to do. But then again, you may not take my advice because you can't teach your old moose new tricks. I love you, Nene, but you need to just sit your ass down for right now. But those are my views on the whole entire situation. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to come at you guys with some more content.